The first step in the design of our differential is to design the ring gear and pinion gear. The easy method to generate gears in Fusion 360 is to add a utility called GF Gear Generator. Once you run the setup the plugin will be available in the Utility tab of your toolbar. Click on the icon and select 90 degree bevel gear from the drop-down. Assign the number of teeths for both the gears as per your requirement. In my case I am choosing it to be 32 for the ring and 12 for the pinion gear. The module is selected to be 1 mm. The plugin will take some time to calculate. Once the calculation is complete the gears will be formed as objects on the plan you have selected. Next step is to sketch the axle on a plane and then position both the gears at an intersection of 90 degree. Mark the approximate boundary for the whole differential assembly so that the system may not get oversized on completion. You can sketch a hair cross at the origin to align the gears accurately at the center. Since the gears are auto-generated, it is difficult to align with the help of sketch of the gears. Next step is to generate the spider gears and axle gears using the same method. In my case I am using the gears with same dimension for axle gears and spider gears. Arrange both the gear system as shown in the sketch, and extrude a 2mm cylinder from the center of the ring gear, to form the housing of the differential. It's a good practice to extrude the surface as a new body and then merge the two bodies at the last stage. I have decided to space the pinion gear at an angle of 10 degree, to achieve a smooth angle of rotation for the universal joint from the gearbox. Now it's time to add some base plates to the gears. I am adding 1mm base plates to each gears to add strength, and obtain a smooth surface for rotation. Press Ctrl plus 7 to toggle to X-ray view, and then sketch the end cap for the differential housing. Mine some gap between the gear assembly and the end cap, as the PLA printed parts are notorious for their low tolerance value. Use the revolve tool to form the body. Don't hesitate to tweak the sketch till you obtain the perfect shape and size for the end cap. Please make sure that enough buffer space is available inside the chamber for the gears to rotate. Extrude and extend the end cap to accommodate the side gear bearing. In my case I am using the bearings with the dimensions 8 into 16 into 5 mm. Extrude the other end to the ring gear in order to generate the end cap on the other side. Now sketch the end cap and extrude it. Add some base plate to the ring gear also. This base plate will provide extra strength to the structure as well as ease the process of printing. Now sketch and extrude an 8mm road from the drive gear. Extrude a 5mm section to create prototype of the gear bearing. As the system is getting complex in each step, now let's add some custom colors to each parts, so that it can be easily differentiated. Since I have got bearings of similar dimension, I am going to use a rod on bearing, and bearing on rod design for drive gear and differential chamber respectively. We can sketch 2mm holes at the ends of the gear rods to fix the wheel coupler. Now sketch and extrude an 8mm rod for the pinion gear.
In the next step, we will extract and design the bearings for the casing, and further we can sketch the cover for the system. In this step, first we will sketch the inner wall and outer wall of the case for the ring gear area. Then we will sketch a minimalist size design for the rest of the components, and use revolve tool up to 250 degree to complete the structure. Rotate the structure to an angle so that the mouth of the structure will be open at the pinion gear. Tweak the design structure till you get the optimum result. Now design and resize the outer structure to join the main frame to the pinion gear casing. Tweak and optimize the structure in a way to get maximum space clearance once fitted inside the chassis structure. Drill holes to mount the spider gears and your differential is ready. In the next episode we will continue the designing of our front axle along with full front drive mechanism. So keep tuned, see you in the next episode.